Uh, hello everyone, it's Events Body again with another video. Apologies for not doing a lot of videos recently. Uh, there weren't many topics that I wanted to discuss. Uh, there weren't many interesting topics, but one of the topics came about um, once this uh, guy actually came and, um, and you know came to me and, and was worried about his uh, flu symptoms after injecting testosterone. Okay, so he was worried about it. Uh, he thought maybe the ghee was dirty and um you know came and said well you know what's going on because of the flu symptoms and you know he had fever and everything else so uh, that prompted me to do this video and it kind of actually melts into my previous video which was how to spot fake key and i told you about this before um when you are injecting new uh batch or a new uh steroid um you obviously want to do your glute first you want to do it in the glute okay for cosmetic purposes okay because if there is uh, something dirty with it and you required uh, antibiotics and there's a lot of inflammation and there's a lot of redness as we talked about okay you want it to be not visible okay you don't want it to be in your deltoid okay and obviously you start off with the half a mil and if there's no adverse reactions then you go into your higher dosages so we discussed that before um, so I'm not going to go into those details again but if the gear is dirty, uh, you will notice uh, severe redness, severe heat coming off that injection site. Uh, could be rash, uh, could be you know, very, very painful, um, and not just very painful, but I'm talk talking about like a lot of redness and, and like swelling, and and the the, the site may look um, uh, just weak. You know, you, you'll notice that something's wrong. So you would obviously go into uh, your GP office and demand uh, antibiotics or something like that. Okay, and in worst circumstances, and this is why I say injecting your glute first, worst circumstances they may actually have to cut out the piece of your muscle. So that's how bad it can get. Uh, so you really want to look into that. So this guy came in and said, you know, flu symptoms, um, uh, experienced fever and everything else. So immediately I looked at his injection site and there was nothing wrong with the injection site. Uh, there was no swelling, there was no um, uh, uh, severe reaction, there was no a lot of redness, it was just a basic uh, injection site. So that, that was a good thing. So all I said to him is that, you know, two things can happen. You, one, you, you could have had a virus, okay, coming on, or you could have had actually test flu. And test flu is uh, somewhat common in, in well, some people. They inject testosterone and they get flu symptoms uh, after it. And um, uh, some guys feel scared, some guys get paranoid, uh, but you gotta know that it actually can happen. And today, this video will discuss why, possibly why it could, could happen. Uh, so as I said, there was no signs and symptoms of problems. Okay, so two things could have done, could have uh, recaused it, virus, simple virus, or uh, test flu. Uh, he went to the doctor, by the way, uh, just in case, and the doctor actually didn't prescribe any antibiotics and all that. He just told him to rest um, and whatnot. Uh, anyway, so test flu. What is test flu? Well, test flu happens to people, some people, um, some people will never experience it and some people will, will experience it with different um, different brands of testosterone, different gear. Uh, if it's new, if they haven't done it in a long time or if it's the first time doing it, they can actually experience those symptoms. Test flu is basically just exactly like flu symptoms that you're going to get. Uh, fever, you know, bodies run down and you just feel like, you know, your, your, your immune system is, is fighting something. Um, and uh, potential of that could be because your your testosterone every time you inject with testosterone it actually breaks down into these four metabolites okay four metabolites one of those metabolites it's called etiocholanolone okay etiocholanolone is one of the metabolites that um, is basically um, uh, inhibitory uh, neurosteroid okay and when I say inhibitory neurosteroid basically inhibits um, uh, things like stress inhibits anxiety so basically you you uh, in good in small amounts uh, we we need it uh, to fight stress depression uh, it will produce anti-aggressive behavior it will produce pro-sexual behavior it will basically it's a good thing for your body okay but uh, that metabolite also is an immunostimulant okay it stimulates your immune system 
and in some cases when your immune system is stimulated you will cause fever okay you will cause flu-like symptoms because of your immune system is being you know amped up okay and basically what what it says to your body is like something is going on i need to get into a you know a defense mechanism and this is how you get your fever this is how we get flu-like symptoms because the body's fighting something um and this is what happens so the first thing you got to do is is eliminate the possibility of the ghee being dirty check the injection site um if there's nothing wrong with that you feel fine but it's just flu it most likely is uh, test flu or virus okay um, so what do you do about it well you can't really do much about it okay you just got to write it out uh, make sure you fight your your uh, flu um, like like you would normally just rest recover uh, you know you might get some uh, immune tablets uh, vitamin C and all that and just rest and write it out um, a lot of people will feel scared to to inject again but I wouldn't okay just maybe lower the dosage as well first for the start and um, that's about it okay um, and at least you will know that you know what you're injecting could be you know, good stuff as well like I said not many people actually get test flu but some people do so if you're gonna google more research more into it please do so okay um, but that's it from me okay so don't panic check the injection site if it all clear most likely you're either virus you're getting a virus or you're actually re responding to the fourth metabolite and you are actually uh getting that test flu that's about it guys um thank you very much for watching uh subscribe if you want to subscribe ask me all the questions that you want to ask remember please remember that i will answer all your questions um when i can um make sure that you understand that you know sometimes i won't answer for a couple of weeks but i will come back to you and i will answer uh if i forgot about you within a month please write it down again if you want to really ask me those questions write them down again um and i will make sure i come back to you okay other than that thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys soon